Hey fellas and ladies, I should say hello folks. Coming again, coming at you once again from my kitchen. Well, I think we should take a little look outside. Maybe we'll go to one of the windows. Uh, hopefully she'll focus. There we go. It's snowing. Yeah, my windows are dirty. Those are the storm windows though, I don't clean those. Uh, yeah, it's snowing. So, but today I figured I'd come at you and show you what we're doing. We're back to making some meatloaf. But uh, I'm taking an idea that uh, one of my subscribers had sent me in. I boiled up some eggs and I'm going to put two in each one. I hope two will fit in each one of those little pans. I'll make personal this so I don't have to make one great big one. Then I'm going to add a little touch. We all know McDoobie One's secret weapon. Bacon! 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 <laughs> it's the old holy bacon, people. We're going to wrap these meatloaves in bacon. See how they render out. Um, I think I was going to par cook the bacon. I'm not sure because I don't want all that grease in my meatloaf. But as you can see, the dishes aren't too bad because. Uh, we don't need a meter on here. I keep up on it pretty good, I think. But, so that's what's been going on around here. I'll have more as I uh, further on these meatloafs. It's only about 3.22 in the afternoon, so I'm not going to have dinner until like 6, 6.30. So I just wanted to pre-prep everything so it was all started. All right, guys. Hope you guys are having a nice, safe, happy day. It's not very warm out here. Um, hopefully you all are warm and dry and staying out of the weather. But have a nice fucking day, people. All right, guys, welcome back to McDoobie One's Kitchen. We're prepping the bacon here. We're not going to cook it. I'm going to par cook it before I put it on my stuff. Put it on a sheet pan. I'm going to throw it in the oven. I'm going to try to slide one more in there. But I figured I'd uh, pre-cook it so I can wrap it around the uh, meatloaf and also it won't get as greasy. You know, because i got to watch my, my girl's figure here. Apparently, my size bothers some people. Well, you know what? I really am trying to work on it. It may not look like it like this, but I am doing more exercise. I am watching, you know, I'm not exactly watching what I eat. I'm watching how much. You know, I, do, I don't eat anything after night. At least I try really hard not to. Um, but I am trying to get a little healthier so I can live longer. You know, sometimes I wonder why, but, you know, whatever. All right. You'll see more later on. Just figured I'd hit on that because I got a, got a disturbing message on, on Facebook. and Even though in the beginning it says, don't take this the wrong way. Well, what the fuck way am I supposed to take it when you say that my health is, you know, could become an issue? Yeah, no shit. I live. I, you know, I, I live inside this body. I know it could be an issue. Why do you think I'm trying to fix it? But why now? After 20 years, do you give a flying fucking rat's ass? I don't fucking know. But, all right, guys. I'll get back to cooking with a McDoobie here in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm going to do it just like I did with a concave of cheese in the middle, but I'm going to put two eggs, hard-boiled eggs in there. Um, at the end of this video, I will post the link of the person that gave me this idea, so uh, you'll be able to see that. Um, the bacon is in the oven, if you'd like to see. I did poke holes in the bottom of the pan for the meatloaf, so some of the more of the grease will drip out. Health reasons, you know. Alright guys, I'll get back at you when I get more of that done and when I start wrapping them with the uh, bacon. Alright guys. Hey guys, got the eggs stuffed in those fuckers. <coughs> There's the bacon, just pulled it out of the oven. Like I said, this is something new we're going to try tonight. No guarantees how it's all going to go around. I'm going to even put some cheese on top when it's all done. I don't know. I'm going to make it a triple culinary or triple, triple bypass here. I don't know. I might be trying to give myself a heart attack. Ha ah! ha All right, guys. Catch you a little bit later. All right, guys. So that's what they look like. Y'all are probably going, hey, but there were six pieces of bacon on that pan. Yeah, well, one got stuck and I ate it. Uh-huh. So... Alright guys, 
Get ready to put those bad boys in the oven. Get out of the kitchen. Get. So, that's how that goes. Alright guys, so I always forget to do this part. This is the ending. Uh, uh, it didn't work too good on this one. It kind of ripped apart. This one started to. Oh, that's, I don't know if you can see it, but it started to pull apart right there. This one held together alright, kind of. Started to pull apart right there too, but... I don't know, maybe I didn't use enough meatloaf, maybe I should have egg washed it shut. I don't know, but like I said, it was just an experiment. Bacon looks pretty good on there. So I'm going to slice it up and divvy it out and see how the folks like it. Alright guys, have a nice fucking day.